Hi there, Catch Cook viewers. On this episode of Catch Cook, we are going to go look for some mackerel in False Bay, in particularly Strand, and uh, keep tuned in to see what happens. Going on a mackerel mission now. Right, we just had a lack of launch. Perfect flat weather, no wind. So yeah, let's see what we're gonna catch. Hopefully there's still some mackerel around and we're gonna go look for them. Lovely weather. Now it looks like there's some red tide in the water. So that's not the greatest. But hopefully the mackerel is still around. Okay, so we just got to our spot here in front of Strand. There you can see all the buildings. Probably about two miles off. And yeah, now we're just going to look for little scratches on the, on the fish finder. And uh, then we're going to put some sabikis down for usuries and chum them up and uh, see what happens. So here's that spinner I had used for the mackerel for a while. It's working excellent. What I did is I took off the treble hook um, as it hooks the the fish too deep or whatever and you struggle to get it out and it slows you down and so on so just put a, a biggish single look on it works excellent there's the other side it's just a small little spinner it's probably maybe six centimeters long and yeah it does the trick chuck him in let him drop there yeah, i'm on on this line There we go, we finally got onto a little show of mackerel here. Annika's on here with a good size one. Yo, big mackerel. Moi Annika. There, I'm on as well, yeah? Yeah, look at my spark bucket. That's fine. There's another good size mackerel. Yo, I'm on again. Yo, yeah, I'm on with three. Yeah, I'm on with three big mackerel. Okay. Here's our first couple. Hey, I'm on again, yeah. Drop the spinner, winding a bit. I'm on straight away. Oh. There we go. Just take the spinner. And my dad's getting a couple. On. There we go guys, look at this lovely gurnet we caught now in between the mackerel, beautiful. We're on our way home, and look at these bunch of penguins, we're coming past. Beautiful evening, got a nice loaded mackerel, got about 100, I don't know, 100, 110, 120, it's all big, decent sized mackerel, so yeah, we're going to keep it for the season, for bait, as well as some for supper. Was she lekker? Here we go, now we got everyone safely on board, now we can run. We just got back and there's enough time, so I'm gonna quickly fillet these. And I'm gonna do them in a little chips and crumbs batter and yeah, put them in the pan. I picked the six biggest ones. As you can see, these are relatively large ones. They're approximately, I don't know, 35 centimeters. What I'm gonna do is just cut behind the head. That's gonna be shark bait. 
that I'll definitely save. I'm just going to do it with all of them first. Okay, there's all the heads and stuff. Now all I'm going to do is fill it down the back, just like any other fish. Nice and fresh, so it's pretty firm. I'm trying to cut it a little bit up so I don't get the little bones in there. Okay, so there, I cut through past all the bones. Cut it downwards. Here's the one little fillet. It's a little bit messy now. There's the fillet, I'll wash that off now now. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, feel free to leave a comment. We will give away a free shirt to the coolest comment. Okay, so here's all the pellets. What I've got here is some cayenne pepper, some mixed herb, and a little bit of Portuguese chicken spice, as well as just normal or salt in the Portuguese chicken spice, doesn't matter which way you go. Cayenne pepper, I'll give it a bit of color and taste, and then just some mixed herbs. Now, I've already got the olive oil in here, I'm gonna put them face down. It's quite a bit. To put some on the side. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Just some normal salt, Portuguese chicken spice, cayenne pepper, mixed up. I'm just going to preheat the oven and uh, then I'm going to put it in for approximately 15 minutes. I'm going to put some prawns in there. I'm going to put some of this Portuguese chicken spice on here as well. And then what I'm going to do is put some Cajun in there. Here we go. That should do. I'm going to do this in the air fryer. And uh, just before it finishes up, the fish, I'll put it all together. The oven's preheated now, 280 degrees. Put this in for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes max, and then it should be done. Okay, the prawns and everything is spiced. This is the timer to around about 12 minutes. Look at that. I'm just gonna put that down for now. Here the prawns. This is just going to go in for about five minutes. There we go. It's done at the same time. There's the chips. And here we got some of our homegrown limes. I'm just going to take a lime wedge. Squeeze it all over. Voila! Look at that. Lovely. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys on the next episode.